Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Um, today I wanted to talk about an issue that I realized with my uh, off-grid solar setup. Uh, specifically the way that my Victron stuff communicates. If you've watched any of my previous videos, you know that I have uh, two Victron uh, solar charge controllers and a Victron uh, battery monitor. A, a smart shunt 500 amp battery monitor. It was it was probably a few days ago that I was working with my battery monitor and I needed to take it off of Bluetooth and I needed to take it off of the network that you can uh, configure with all of your Victron stuff. As time goes by well, I thought that I put everything uh, back in place. I, I connected everything correctly. Today, when I was looking at the voltage and the and the current and the amperage that I was that I was getting and my state of charge, I noticed that my state of charge uh, here. Let me go ahead and pull the screen here. I noticed that my state of charge was right around sixty, you know, sixty two, sixty three percent and it was saying that it was in absorption mode. Uh, now absorption mode means that it's basically not going to get any higher voltage, that it's reached a certain voltage peak, and that it's staying at that voltage for uh, a certain amount of time, and then it's going to go into float mode. And that's exactly what it did. It was, it was in voltage, uh, I'm sorry, it was in bulk mode, uh, and, and, and you can see over on the right hand side here, you know, we're at 58% uh, and then it goes it goes into um, It goes into absorption mode at 1041 a.m. Now at 1041 a.m. You can see that I'm only at a 57.9 state of charge and, and how I have it set uh, my state of charge should be well above 80 before it goes into absorption mode. Uh, what I have it set for, I have my voltage set to, if it goes over, I believe 27.8 volts, that it goes from bulk mode to absorption mode. And as you can see at the top, under uh, in, the tr in the first two graphs, you can see that the voltage says 27.82 on my west panels and 27.85 on my east panels. That's why my uh, my solar charge controllers, because those are my solar charge controllers. Those numbers, those voltages are being read from my solar charge controllers. So they see that it's over 27.8, so they automatically go into absorption mode. Now, the problem is, is that I, I have a, a smart shunt and that smart shunt is what the solar charge controllers should be using to find out what the voltage is. And that's the voltage that it should use when it goes into, when it switches from bulk mode to absorption mode. And as you can see in the bottom left-hand corner, while my solar charge controllers say that they're above 27.8, my shunt actually says that the voltage is 27.48 and I'm using lithium ion batteries. So 27.48, I mean, that is right in the middle of your charge cycle. I mean, that's, if you've ever seen a, a, a graph of a lithium iron phosphate battery charging, it goes up really quick, really quick and then it levels off for a long time and then it jumped right before it gets to about 27.75, 27.8 for a 24 volt system, it will quickly jump up. So that's why I have it set to 27.8. But 27.48, that is, uh, well, apparently that is 57.7% state of charge for my battery. So I knew something was wrong. I was, I was like, why? Well, first of all, what I what I don't understand is why does my shunt say that the voltage is 27.48 when my solar charge controllers say that the voltage 
is 27.82 and 27.85. So that is, if you know anything about Victron stuff and you've, if you have an answer for me, please leave it in the comments. Um, Cause I don't know why, I don't know why the voltage is so different between my solar charge controller and my shunt. My guess is that my shunt is just a lot more, um, I guess a lot more accurate. Uh, I mean, that's why I bought it is because it's, that's what it's made for is to really uh, calculate the voltage and the amperage and it could, so I can know what its state of charge is. And so my feeling is that the, the, the smart shunt is a lot more sensitive and a lot more accurate than what my uh, solar charge controllers are. What I found out is that in the Victron software, uh, all of your Victron stuff can communicate via Bluetooth. Uh, so both of my solar charge controllers, they both are communicating to each other. And what they do is they communicate with the smart shunt to know what the, uh, what the battery voltage is. Apparently my smart shunt has not been uh, connected to that network. Uh, what I want to show you is my Victron settings and I'm going to show you how to go in there and set this smart shunt, set it into, into the network with your other available Victron stuff. All right, as you can see, here's my battery monitor. It's showing my, you know, my voltage, my current. But what I care about is seeing if this is connected to uh, my Bluetooth network. So I'm going to click on this cog up here. And I'm going to click on the VE Smart Networking. Yeah, and as you can see, it is not, it's saying that either I can join a network or I can create a network. And what I want to do is I want to join an existing network because I already have one. And right here, it shows the off-grid basement. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. All right, and now it says the device has been successfully configured and is transmitting data. And now you can see that it shows that my, my battery monitor is connected. It is transmitting the battery voltage and it's transmitting the battery current. So now my, my solar charge controllers will use my shunt for, to, to find out what the voltage and the amperage of the battery is. All right, well, uh, I think that's it for this video. Uh, please, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Or if you, if you know uh, any answers of why the, the solar charge controllers uh, are showing a, a different voltage than the shunt would be showing, especially since they're all Victron stuff, I feel like they all should be the same. If you like this video, uh, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more of my stuff, uh, please subscribe. That would be awesome. You know, click that bell notification. That way you can be notified uh, when I start making more content. Uh, thank you so much for watching this. And you all take care. Bye-bye.